hello. This is Amanda with From Where I Stamp near Kingston, Ontario, Canada, and we have new products. It's 2024. Stampin' Up! has released new catalogs, both the Celebration brochure and the mini catalog, and I wanted to walk through some of um, the items in the catalog, especially what I got, because I was sick after I received my pre-order, and I wasn't able to share with everybody what I got. And I'm really excited about the new products and color combos and bundles and savings. So I wanted to share with you. So we're going to start with the mini catalog. So there are um, eight suites in this catalog. So we're just going to take a peek through it. And um, I'll have the link for the catalog down below so one you can download the pdf of the brochure of the catalog and um also if you live in canada and you don't have a demonstrator the link will be there to request a mini catalog as well so the be mine suite here on pages eight and nine um is really cute and fun and bright for valentine's day now i'm, I'm interested in the punch so this this punch right there because it has like a almost looks like a thought bubble and a heart. Um, the paper's cute, but I'm not really into bees. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite products are or something that you're looking to order. So here's a close up of that stamp set here. So it has, I really love this like honeycomb stamp, but it's not really me and that's okay. Um, if there's a suite that you don't like all, so if you don't like all of this product, um, you can order it for one number for $103 Canadian plus shipping plus taxes. Or say you like the ribbon and the um, um, pillow boxes. You could just order those two items. You don't have to order the whole suite. And you can mix and match suites as well. Now, this Sending Love bundle, I might get that one. I'm kind of on the fence with it. Um, Oh, that's why I'm going, why won't my page turn? <laughs> I thought they were glued together. Um, so I really do love the little envelopes and um, it's showing some square brand. So throughout the catalog, like here is some loose silver sequins. And, but that is AC is the annual catalog. So that's our bigger, thicker catalog that goes from May to April. So there's more products if you're interested, but these are the brand new ones for 2024. All right, so this bundle here, if um, you were doing the World Card Making Day, this was available early. I do love this heartfelt hexagon punch. So it's this size here. Um, I haven't gotten it yet, but it also coordinates with Celebration. So Celebration, if you're not sure what it is, it's available in January and February only. And when you purchase $60 or $120 before shipping and taxes, you get to pick one item or two, depending. Um, so if you order $60 of the product, you choose one. If you order $120, you can pick two items or you can pick one of the $120 um, freebies. So this here, the Modern Oval Punch, that's on page 12 here, um, or sorry, hexagon, page 10. I'm looking at the wrong page. So the Heartfelt Hellos, which is this stamp set right here. I did bring it in because I love this hello. And there's dad and mothers and Easter, love. So it works for a lot of the um, celebrations we have coming up in the first half of this year. So if it's something that um, like even enjoy your day could be for birthday or even for a thank you. So this is something that would be very good for um, a lot of different scrapbook layouts. So if you purchase this bundle at $52, you would need to add another $8, say um, some markers or stamp and blends or some cardstock. And then that would get you to about $60. And then you could choose this stamp set for free. So then you'd have this stamp set plus the other stamp set and a coordinating punch. Now, if this punch, this, um, Heart, um, heartfelt hexagon punch isn't to your liking. There are other punches or dies that will work with this stamp set. And I will share that in upcoming videos. All right, so back to our mini catalog. I like going through the catalog and highlighting my favorite items. So you'll notice here I have this highlighted in purple because purple is my favorite color. And um, here's another suite. So this is the Forever Love sweet. I do love these colors. So the co color coordination 
um, between all the products, there's different color families, collections, um, I think they're, they're called now. And um, the colors are designed to coordinate together, but also between the different collections. And I love the bottom of these pages on the suites because it gives you, let's see, Petal Pink, Moody Mauve, Pretty Peacock, Very Vanilla, and Gold Foil. So even if you didn't like this Forever Love Suite, maybe you liked these colors. So you can get some inspiration from these colors to make something that looks like this or something completely different. So you don't have to use this suite to create with those colors. So um, when you're going through, you'll notice different things, um, different ideas and inspiration. And there'll be some little tips sometimes as well. So the Stampin' Brayer is back, um, a different look to it. Um, but there's some ideas here as well. So this um, Thoughtful Moments Hybrid, I put little purple hearts beside the items I've already ordered. And this one's really interesting because it's an embossing folder, but there's also dyes that match it. So I thought this would be great for, it would come out, this would be great for titles for my scrapbook pages. So let's move this out of the way. Um, you're not going to be able to see it, are you? Anyway, where did that go? Maybe the cover. There we go. That's what it says. <laughs> and then the dies. So this comes as a bundle. And it will die cut. So this large piece here. Let's just, I haven't used it yet. And this will only work in, like this large piece will only work in our Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine, not in the mini. So this cuts out these right there. So I'm looking forward to using this so that I can, I might get that Stampin' Brayer, but there's other ways you can add ink. So you can ink up this side of the embossing folder and you can use it as like a background for a picture or you can use the dies to die cut out all the sentiments. And it'd be really good to have this, um, you could use it as a die cut ahead of, not really ahead of time, but you could die cut a bunch and then put them in a container to have for later. And I do love the little rainbows. I'm gonna use those for like St. Patrick's Day or the spring, little hearts for um, Valentine's Day, even little clouds, aren't they cute? Stars and some flowers. So this will work throughout the springtime. And I'm not sure how this goes back on like that. Something like that. All right. And there's another, um, another one here. So there's a stamp set, but then there's a hybrid adorning hearts. So it die, um, embosses them and then you can die cut them out. So it's fun to see different products. In here and even if like i love these trees but i wouldn't buy this stamp set myself but i do like how they've used the punch to create like this little peekaboo scene so that's something that you could use on your next layout the perennial lavender suite it has my favorite color in it highland heather and gorgeous grape purples wonderful um fresh freesia i think is more pink than purple to me but I also do love Shaded Spruce and Lost Lagoon. Uh, I'm not sure about the designer series paper yet. I usually buy a lot of designer paper because I'm a scrapbooker. But this one I'm not sure about. But I do like... Oh, I didn't do it. I forgot to highlight these shimmer gems. To be honest, the last couple of times, I kind of missed those. So um, there's butterfly die cuts and then two bundles and the designer series paper. And that almost looks like, I wanna say crumb cake. Sometimes they don't list all the colors here and the best is to go on the on my online store to look at the colors. And I also like listing the colors when I do create a layout so then people know what I've used um, to create that. Oh, and the other part that's in this bundle are these postage, what are they called? Um, oh, it doesn't say there, does it? Perennial postage dies. 
So those dies are pretty cute. So I don't know if I want to purchase this bundle here because of the sames with the postage um, bun um, dies or buy them separate. So when you buy a bundle together, so this is showing the white here that these will be cut out with these dies, but there's other dies in this bundle that are larger. So like this one here on the card front and also smaller ones. Um, and it will tell you the largest die in it here. But if you buy them together, you save 10%. So instead of $78, it would be 70. If you buy just the dies themselves, they're 45. So then if you bought the stamp set later, you, you wouldn't save, save that bundle price. All right, so then some Easter items. And it's always good to try and have a peek at some of the different tips and techniques they're showing, like the water. Uh, painters. I haven't used mine in a really long time, but I do love this blueberry stamp set. And um, they also show like the heat tool from the annual catalog and embossing. Embossing is a lot of fun too. And the water sprints or the, the spritzers. So have a look through the catalog. Sometimes it's good to look backwards to so start at the back and go forwards. So here is the lighter than air bundle. And it has some twine, and I do love these adhesive back dots. They're nice and bright. I'm going to use those with an ice cream stamp set that's coming up. So then here is that punch I was getting confused with earlier. All right, so back to the celebration catalog. So this coordinates with this watermelon. I thought the watermelon looked kind of like a weird size but now that i've noticed that it coordinates with this punch i can understand why they did that size so you can punch out this watermelon with the punch um, so it makes it easier so if you wanted to do kind of like a, a popped up image you can do that and i do like how they've shown two different styles of that card so this one's a little more stepped up with some extra layers and some more die cut or maybe some even fussy cuts all right, this one here, I'm on the, I think I'd like to get it because it's kind of scrapbooky-esque and I love the smile and happy and the little checky marks. So that might work for a good scrapbook page. So this ice cream, cream squirrel bundle, I've used it to create a name tag. I went to a Stampin' Up! training back um, November, October, I can't remember when it was. And so, um, this is the cherry and the ice cream. This cone part is from the, what is it called? From this paper here, the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper. This paper right back here, to me, it looked like an ice cream cone. And then these are new dyes. And of course, they're in Highland Heather because purple. And then I colored it in um, with um, early espresso and pecan pie, I think it was. So this one has a lot of fun things. Like a, it could be a donut or a lifesaver, strawberry. And I really love the different fonts in this stamp set. So I purchased the bundle. And this one will work in the mini catalog. So there's different icons in here as well. So when you're looking at your um, purchasing a bundle or even just the dies, and if you only have the mini, the smaller machine, because it will do a three and a half inch cut, those um, images or those uh, icons will help you decide. Okay, so this is um, a masking set, so it can work with adding different colors onto the petals to create this beautiful uh, floral image. And then we have Nature's Sweetness. So Pebble Path, Pecan Pie, and Gold Foil. And it's a fun set. I like this one. I'm not too sure if I like. That's why there's a question mark. But this one here, I like the background pieces. Those can be great for adding some dimension onto the base of your layout or even behind a photo. And then we have the Memories and More cards. I'm not too sure on the colors this time. It's... Um, Basic Black, Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, Garden Green, Pecan Pie, Pretty Peacock, and Rose Gold Foil. And 
I don't know they're not my colors but I might buy it anyway and try it out and but they do look like some fun designs here and a big old telephone this stamp set here doggone good oops that one's a cute and I usually don't buy a dog stamp set because they usually don't feature cogger spaniels but now I have a lab as well so there's a there is a lab and that could be a cocker spaniel there maybe so that one's on my maybe strong maybe <laughs> so here's those uh dies right here that i used to cut out my name on my name tag and um they come in one big piece so this is pretty cool and then it has the fancy letters for some of the other languages and then some other um can't think of the right word but question mark ampersand exclamation point then we have the plant paradise stamp set this one here demonstrators received for free if you attended on stage and it's a reversible stamp set and so what that means is this one image is the front of the stamp this is the back of the stamp. So basically what you do is, so this part here, they're cut in such a way that they don't have like a little, um, um, what's, can I show you better? Not quite. Anyway, they don't really have a ledge on them. So this one, you could ink up this side and stamp it. And then ink up this other side and stamp it. So they're good for both sides, I guess is the easiest. Or you can stamp on both sides of the stamp. All right. So if you're a demonstrator and you attended an event, usually we do get some bonuses or freebies and um, something I wouldn't purchase. But it is kind of a neat stamp set. So I'm, I'll be trying to find some way, different ways to use this stamp set rather than just as plants. But who knows, maybe I'll use it for my gardening scrapbook layouts or something. And then we have the Just Kidding bundle or the suite. And this looks really fun and bright. Oh, iridescent foil gems. I didn't see those before either. I guess I'm gonna have to uh, highlight those. All right, what do you think? Iridescent gems, yay or nay? And then here is the stamp set. This is really cute, kind of like in a boat. And then we have the Bright Skies Bundle. Now it looks nice and fun to me. I'm really looking forward to spring. We've had our first snow today and um, I'm looking forward to just no snow. <laughs> Although we haven't had much so far. All right, so this um coordinates with page five so there's even designer series paper which is even better this designer series paper called sunny days coordinates with the bright skies bundle so if any of the paper in the celebration catalog looks good to you i would place that order sooner rather than later um there is a small chance that items may sell out especially closer into february so this one here i love the bright colors um, and that there's flowers and clouds and even like St. Patrick's Day designs there too. All right. We have under the sea bundle, a cow bundle, and rock and roll is another suite. This one didn't have the colors along the bottom. That is interesting. Usually they have the colors listed, but maybe because this one is just black and white designer paper, it's easy to tell what colors they are. All right. Now, this um, trusty tool bundle coordinates with designer series paper in the celebration catalog. So with a $60 order, so this is $75.50, you can choose this one for free. And it's a lot of fun. So some of the dies out of this bundle will die cut images out of the designer series paper. But you can also fussy cut some of these images as well to uh, create your, your layouts. And then we have graduation, beach bundle. This image right here 
made me think of um, well, all of these images made me think of the red cliffs in PEI and Nova Scotia. Then we have Poetic Expressions Bundle. And I love the look of these label dies. So um, it's Thoughtful Expression Dies. So even if I don't like the stamp set, I'm not a big fan, but the dies are something that I could use. This is a slightly bigger image here. So I wouldn't end up using these ones down here necessarily, but if I love the look of the labels, I'll purchase those. And then here's some more annual catalog items with the blending brushes. So that's a way that you could um, add some more dimension to your project. Then, um, oops, this one got folded over. Stippled Roses, it coordinates with designer series paper in the celebration catalog. So it's the softly stippled 12 by 12. And I do love these colors. I didn't purchase this bundle, but I'm going to be using this paper because I like the other side. So not necessarily the stippled side, but there's some really neat patterns on the opposite side of this paper. Then we have the inspirational sketches. This could work with that flight and airy um, paper. This one here, flight and airy. It doesn't say that it coordinates with it, but you could possibly, because of the little bird, um, coordinate with that. All right, whoops. So in the, near the back of the catalog is the bundles. So it talks about our, um, our stamp and cut and emboss machines, the mini and the regular size. Um, so if you haven't seen the catalog before, you'll know what you'd need to use with those dies. And then these here are the bundles that start on page 67. This project is different than what's on page 18. So if we go to page 18 pretty quick, oops. So it gives you these ideas, but here's another idea. So different colors and uh, different ideas. So you can see like this one here, that looks like a pretty interesting card. Um, thunder clouds and lightning. So you can go through and it will let you know that you do save 10%. Um, but what the actual, so if you wanted to get these dies itself, or maybe if you want to get it as a bundle, go to page 28 to see this together. And then of course it also shows the stamp sets, not just the dies. And then on page 74, we have a list of all the stamp sets. Now they're listed in alphabetical order. Um, not a large image of the stamp is shown, but if you're looking for one really quick, that could be a way to see. Same thing with the dies, embossing folders, and punches, and designer series paper. So I will usually look at this first-ish. Um, I might have a quick peek through the catalog, but then I'll come back here and look and see what the size of the designer series paper is, and um, you know how many there are, but also I'll do that for embellishments because I had missed I had missed seeing these adhesive back lightnings and stars. They're in that um, rock and roll bundle right here, but they could also be used for what page was that? Uh, page fifty one. So it was also used here on this card for the Bright Skies Bundle. All right. Um, and then in the back, it talks about hosting and joining Stampin' Up. So joining Stampin' Up, becoming a demonstrator, that it, during celebration, it's a great time to do that. And um, to join, it would be $165 of the product you'd purchase for $135, and there's no shipping. And then um, this right here is a glass mat studio, and um, it is one of the two options you can pick when you become a demonstrator in January and February. So this here has, um, it's a glass mat, it's at least 13 by 13 here, it's, it's really big, and it's tempered glass, so you can use it with uh, your heat tool, you can stamp right on it, 
it'll wipe right off. I've used an alcohol marker to put from where I stamp up there. That will wash off with some um, uh, stays on cleaner. And it also comes with this uh, cleaning mat, kind of like our Simply Chamois. And this here, you can put your one by one um, ink spots. You can mix up ink in any of these, and this will come clean. It might stain a little bit, but um, it's removable. So it can stick right on there and it won't move around while you're creating. So if you wanted to stamp, use a blending brush or use um, a water or a, a water painter, then that's something that would be handy. So the other items in the celebration catalog I wanted to share um, was there's the Cradle in Love stamp set with, and also the Pool Party Crinkled Ribbon. Pool Party is another one of my favorite blues. I have quite a few favorite Stampin' Up! colors, don't I? Then we have the Most Adored Designer Series Paper. I guess that um, I forgot to mark that in my catalog. Oh no, right there. I just forgot to show you. So um, with it being Valentine's Day with the gold and pinks and reds, that would work. Also, there's opaque faceted gems. So those gems are these right here. So they come in Calypso Coral, um, Pecan Pie, and Pool Party. So those are kind of cute and they, they kind of sparkle. And then there's the Jungle Pals stamp set and coordinating dies. So to get these two items, you'd have to order $180 worth of product to get both of them. Then we have um, two, these two items are if you spend a $120 order, you could pick one of these. So the Softly Sophisticated Bundle, so it has a stamp set and an embossing folder. And then this one here, is a stamp set and then it coordinates with a punch from the annual catalog so those are some wonderful free items that you can earn during celebration with either a 60 or 120 dollar order so i'll have the links below for the catalogs and to also request the mini catalog and celebration catalog in the description below and i hope that you'll join me on thursday for my next video where we'll be scrapbooking using some new products. We'll see you then.